So you want to become a backstreet alley knuckle brawling gangster and beat the side job for beat on the brat. Well, right now I will share with you how to unlock the gorilla arms and the animal knuckles because these combined will definitely help you defeat each and every single one for that side job. Before we get started, I have a huge 2021 goal of 100,000 subscribers and would love nothing more than for you to join and be a part of this journey. So be sure to tap that like and subscribe button for more silverback guides coming very soon and let's get started. All right, so no doubt that everyone and their household are going Google happy, looking for the best weapons in the game at the moment, but the side jobs titled Beat on the Brat require you to use your fists only. So if you're not well prepared, you could end up like Nate Robinson, and we definitely don't want that to happen, and you're going to need a few items and perks to make sure that you get helped out as much as possible. First though, let's discuss the side jobs themselves. Within the game, eventually you will get a call from someone named Coach Fred, who will suggest you enter some fighting tournaments to make a few eddies. For this, you will square off against 5 fighters in total, with the first 4 being around the city. Once you have completed these fights, you will then be asked to fight the grand champion himself, Razor Hugh, who is extremely tough to defeat. Now, if you're having trouble with this fight, I have a video suggesting some tips that helped me, and I'll link that in the description below for you guys to reference. Either way, defeating all five will net you some serious money or eddies, so it's definitely worth doing if you're looking for something challenging. But I do want to obviously state how you can acquire the Gorilla Arms and the Animal Knuckles because these are going to be absolutely critical to those fights. Now, for the Animal Knuckles, you'll need about 5,000 eddies and can buy them from the Ripper Dock located right here on your map. Now, what make the Animal Knuckles so important is that they apply a bleeding aspect to the enemy every single time that you land a successful hit. If you look at the Gorilla Arms, they only have a 20% chance to add that bleeding, so if you pair that with the Animal Knuckles, you're always going to make sure that there's a bleeding aspect on that enemy. This will be very, very important for blocking, hitting, and letting the bleed damage take place, and then rinse and repeating that process. For the Gorilla Arms, you can actually buy them from Victor, who is another Ripper Dock once your street cred hits around level 20, and the price varies depending on the rarity. So, for example, I bought mine for 100,000 because they were legendary, and then having the Gorilla Arms installed cost me around 50,000 eddies, so you're going to need a good chunk of change to do this. But either way, if you're having money issues, I have a super easy way on how to make a ton of money that I'll also link in the description below so you guys can follow that. And of course, money makes the world go round, especially in Cyberpunk 2077, so make sure that you check it out either way. Once you have the Gorilla Arms attached, you can then add the mod Animal Knuckles. Also, just a small note, but if you have the Ripper Dock install something and pay for it, you won't need to actually pay for it again. Only new items that have never been installed before will only need to be paid for. Lastly, if you can't find the Gorilla Arms on Victor, walk out of the store, skip time for 48 hours, and then walk back in, and their inventory should change. Now, from what I've seen online, there have been other Ripper Docs that will actually sell the Gorilla Arms, so you could check a different one if you're just not having luck with Victor, but again, you can skip that for 48 hours, and then their inventory should change. So, I do hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe for more guides coming very soon. Let me know if you think Gorilla Arms are worth it or if you have an easier way to defeat Razor Hugh in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.